वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो बाय बेल्टू टेक स्लैश वीयू थ्री गोल्फ इसकी नवंबर टुडे आई विल बी शोइंग हाउ टू अपग्रेड द फर्मवेयर फॉर माइक्रो पीए फाइव सीरो द एक्सेलेंट स्मॉल पोर्टेबल पावर एम्पलीफायर लीनियर एम्पलीफायर फॉर हैम रेडियो राइट सो व्हाट आई हैव डन हियर राइट नाउ फॉर द प्रिपरेशन इज आई हैव टेकन आउट द स्क्रूज फॉर द टॉप कवर यू कैन सी एंड यू कैन सी सो एंड व्हाट वी विल हैव टू डू लेट मी स्विच इट ऑफ फॉर अ सेकंड yeah i added a switch for the power card so that i can switch it off if i don't want it um so here you have uh, if you can notice uh, let me zoom in if you can notice there are uh, five uh, leads coming out of the board this is where you'll need to connect your programmer for the firmware upgrade process and if you open up the manual uh, as you can see in the video here you can see that uh, i'll put the description to the manual as well as the google drive where you can download the firmware and the programmer also uh the pins that are there right here uh the leftmost uh, if you are looking at from the front it will be tx rx ttr 5 volts and ground and you need to buy a correct programmer for that not everything will work what i have here is the programmer that i bought uh, let me zoom out so this is uh, cp2102 uh you get it off robo or even amazon so i've connected the uh, five cables uh there are six pins on this we don't need the sixth one which is 3.3 volts but we do need the 5 volts one uh so what we are connecting to the radio to the amplifier will be dtr rx d tx d 5 volts and ground and if you look at the manual here you can clearly see that he has given the uh connect uh, connection from the this board uh, to the uh, micro pi 50 tx d goes to the rxd rxd goes to the txd dtr to dtr 5 volts to 5 volts and ground to ground so that is what we'll be connecting now and uh, then i'll show you how to set up the firmware oh before i go let me show you how to set up the driver for this so i had some problem in getting the driver working for this so uh, i think in one of my previous videos i've shown how do you set up uh, zedig and use zedig so i have done that today so let me open up zedig and as you can see here uh, you list all uh, let me zoom in a little bit more uh, yeah sorry i am not recording from a laptop this recording from the phone itself yeah. so options list all devices cp2102 usb uh, i have connected it as uh, what driver let me show you you need to connect it as usb serial cdc that is what you need to connect nothing else nothing else works this is the one that works so get ready select this and upgrade to this driver and it will be fine right okay let me connect the wires and then we'll go on to the next step thank you we'll come back so what i have done here if you look at the uh, board there or the diagram there in the manual the left mouse is the x y rx d t r 5 volts and ground and if you look at how i have connected uh, tx is orange rx is yellow the green is dtr the blue is 5 volts and the purple is ground right so i have connected here and if you look at the board here i have twisted it so the first one what we have here is uh, dtr dtr is green the tx from the uh, micro pa comes to rx here the rx from the micro pa comes to tx the 5 volts is blue and the purple is ground right so we have made our connection and uh, let me connect back the board Uh, to the laptop and open up device manager let me turn it on as you can see i have not given the power supply and uh, the micro pi is shouting because of low voltage let me give on the power supply and once i switch on the power supply it should be showing 3.3 i am running this off of a battery now lipo battery now let's uh, go to the device manager and what you can see the device manager is it's on com4 right you can see that here let me bring that here see it's on com4 right com4 now okay now let's uh, look at the folder where you so you have... need to download uh, the micro pa firmware i have got uh, 289 which is the latest i downloaded all the firmwares my micro pa had come with 2.85 but i downloaded but never got a chance to do that i think he is now testing Wang is testing uh, beta 1.4 is the latest. I won't go to beta yet, but uh, we'll be going with 2.89. Uh, if you go to his uh, Facebook page, there are uh, details on what does this firmware have, you know, improvements and stuff like that. 
Uh, so I'll be using this. You'll also need AVR dudes. If you are familiar with command line, command line is the, okay. But you need the AVR dudes is the UI, AVR dude is the CLI. You need the AVR dude uh, version 7.0. If you have version 7.3, I'm unable to find this Arduino here. Only with this, I can get the firmware to update. So we'll be using that. Okay, a quick uh, overview of the screen. You select Arduino here. You select the COM port. We saw that our device is in COM4. You select COM4, COM4, and then baud rate 115, 200 is what you need to do. Enter. Uh, he specifically mentioned, you know, in kind of a uh, Chinese one, do not check erase flash and EEPROM. So don't do that, right? It won't, uh, it'll just uh, erase the 80 mega 328p Arduino that is used inside the micro PFI0. Don't do this. The Just uh, update, uh, you know, select the file, your firmware file. So I'm selecting 289. Uh, micro PA 50 plus. If you have 50, just select the from the downloads. I'll share the Google Drive link. Uh, select uh, micro PA 50.hex. Uh, if you have micro PA 50 plus, select 50 plus dot hex. Um, there is no no other stuff you need to do here. Uh, MCU select 80 mega 328p, which is your standard Arduino, and uh, nothing else you need to do. Right. Uh, the wire connections uh, just ensure you see the wire connections that he has given here tx goes to rx rx goes to tx dtr files and ground are you know mapping to each other only the tx and rx switches right as long as you have done that you are good to go so let me start the firmware update process let me see if i can also provide power externally as well not just internally so let me uh, select this here. You will not be seeing anything on the board, but let me go ahead a second. Uh, yes. Start the firmware. Uh, select go. Okay. Click on program. And as you can see, it is writing now. Uh, I had some problems uh, when it was uh, not working correctly. Then I realized the orange line had fallen off. That's it. It's updated. Very short firmware update. So ensure all the lines are correct and it will work, right? So that's about it. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll now go ahead, uh, pack this up and uh, test the radio uh, with this. Test my radio for power output with this new updated firmware. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. We'll meet again next time. 73. Bye.